Hello and Namaskar. This is Neeraj here and welcome back to my channel Financial Market Analysis Twist by Neeraj Shah. So in today's video, I will discuss about the implications of this G20 summit on the environmental decisions and impact on the coal and all this energy, basically fuel and the commodities. So before starting this video, I would request all of you to please subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed till now. And if you like this video, please put a like button and also put a switch on the net notification button so that whenever I come out with the videos, which I come out very regularly, every time you get immediately get the update. And also I have a different format where I come out with the complete uh, stock specific, uh, multi bigger stock specific analysis with the future projections and the target price. And these are all the unique stocks and which have outperformed market till now. So if you're interested in that, you know, per video, it's only $20 or rupees 1000 per video that that is available. In case of your interest, you can please contact me. My contact details, email details are in the description box bar down below. And I will let you know about this, how to do and the bank details. Let's not waste much time and let's start with. So as you know, last two days, uh, where this uh, G20 summit was going on uh, and uh, uh, G20 summit was going on and uh, we were uh, talking about this uh, uh, in this Rome uh, in Italy where the G20 summit was going on the group of 20 nations and uh, they were taking the decision and there were some decisions were taken in that uh, and one of the major decision was regarding that uh, reduction of the temperature or the limiting of the environment and earth temperature uh, to 1.5 degree but there was not a time limit set and it is you know supposed to be without exactly time limit that they will try to limit or remove all this uh, uh, polluting uh, carbon emissions or the net zero emission which is called the green energy it will be by you know around 2050 2060 but not exact day but the crux of this was the implication of this was that the major decision which is going to impact uh, most of the nations and particularly the developing and the underdeveloped poor nations is that uh, decision not to finance uh, uh, any of this thermal power plants coal based power plants from 2022 first january means by the end of this year by the end of 2021 no more financing in the third world in the third world countries by any of the banks or the financing companies they will not finance any coal based power plants so what is the implication of that its implication is that that slowly slowly you even though you are rich in coal sources like india you take we are the one of the biggest coal reserves in the world. The same way with Africa also, say South Africa, uh, Mozambique, then in uh, South America also. And in Europe, in this Poland, Russia, Ukraine. So these are the countries where, and also US has also a lot of uh, this coal. But basically USA can afford, USA, Europe can afford to switch to say green or nuclear power energy which is also supposed to be one of the renewable energy, by the way, nuclear power energy is. So, but what about this uh, countries like India or Africa and Latin America, where uh, they have this captive resources and why should they spend huge billions and billions of dollars into importing gas or which is supposed to be that, you know, less polluting or, you know, that part of the green energy uh, and uh, say nuclear or whatever the hydel so because that limitation of uh, this other renewable energy sources like solar wind or hydel is that it is dependent on that nature and it's not a continuously you know hydel power also it's a during rainy seasons and the during that monsoon times you get that uh, uh, 80 percent 90 percent of the plf but when it is dry and when it's summer and drought period of time even it reduces to less than 50 percent and the same is the case with the solar and wind also it depends on the on the season it depends on the nature it depends on the solar sun powers rays so all this uh, in short uh, you know countries like india will be at the massive disadvantage if you know this is 
actually implemented that from the from January 1st 2022 no more financing will be provided to this coal based power plants so india can still manage because india is not dependent on uh, on the world bank financing or uh, some of these foreign banks uh, financing project projects but still it may be affected because most of the companies which uh, provide these generators and except for the bail they are all uh, multinational european companies like siemens abb so maybe they also will not be able to or they may have restrictions in providing equipments for the coal based power plants in any of the outside world so i don't know how they are going to implement this uh, this kind of a very very strange and uh, very financially very uh, heavy burden on this uh, developing countries particularly in poor countries so without the existing infrastructure that there is not enough gas available in the world right or that infrastructure is also not that it's not like that you start digging and you get gas that from the next two months time when you can shut off or you cannot uh, allow other coal power plants to come and immediately in two months time all the gas infrastructure gas based infrastructure will be available or other other renewable energy sources uh, those base power plants will be available so what about the energy requirement or the power requirement of this majority of the world which is developing and the underdeveloped world and why should countries like india also agree to this kind of a stupid uh, uh, or a disadvantageous decision which is which puts directly countries like india at the disadvantage because we are more than self sufficient in the in the, the coal and we we our currently existing energy portfolio is also 62% is coal based thermal power plants and only 12% is uh, say hydro power per energy and another 12% is around say nuclear power and the 24% is uh, say renewable renewable also it's not only solar but it's mostly mini hydro and which is less than 5 megawatt is called also under comes under renewable so it is called uh, those kind of uh, portfolio so how india is going to be suddenly and you know that in the recent time there is a lot of power crisis happening in the world starting from china in europe and in india also even despite of the have so much of coal reserves so i don't understand the decision and why should even india agree to this so what is the implication of the decision is that you will have a lot of uh, going forward immediately you will see that gas prices will zoom off you know because all the alternative fuel energy prices will zoom off so if you are say that i will we will not finance uh, coal based power plants we will not allow you means there will be a lot of difficulty in in getting in setting up a coal based power plants so what you do so you have to go for say alternative is what oil or coal gasification so that coal gasification will take accelerated space but still it is not very widely available and still it is not very widely accepted because of the cost economics also and it's also a big project it will not come up uh, immediately in say two months time it requires some uh, one or two years any of this project requires one to two two years time to come up so till that time what all this world will be uh, continue to face the power crisis and energy crisis and which will in turn will affect the production growth and the general country's economy and the gdp of uh, the world also so i don't understand on what basis this g20 this decision was taken to given this deadline of 1st january 2022 that there won't be any financing available for the coal based power plants and i am sure that india will also have to adhere to it if they have agreed to kind of this or in any case in short what is going to happen is that it will have a lot of uh, uh, this uh, uh, what do you call them other energy prices will rise tremendously so gas prices will rise oil prices will rise this crude oil prices uh, then uh, uh, people will go to this biofuel means sugar cane or the ethanol based also power plants or the waste energy based power plants these are all the kind of considered to be the green energy or renewable energy power plants but in short till the time this switching over and the other uh, sources are available in the mid time in the interim period you will see a lot of chaos and this chaos will result into further deterioration of the energy crisis in the world 
and the higher cost to all the countries particularly sufferers will be the countries developing countries like india uh, uh, india africa latin america these are the countries which will be at the massive disadvantage if this is adhered to so uh, this is what i wanted to share my thoughts with you that you will see a you know that spot in that uh, gas prices and others because uh, ultimately they want to phase out uh, coal which in my opinion is not the right practical way for doing things and particularly coal coal resource rich countries like india should not uh, uh, you know agree to blindly to this kind of uh, uh, norms uh, because it will directly impact our economy as well as uh, our own uh, we have to import because its gas is not going to be available in india it's not easily available till now it's not that enough so any case it's it's not the way uh, for uh, to to go forward to that's it from my side and uh, uh, we'll see once again next week with some other interesting uh, uh, unique topic and idea and uh, how uh, it will, uh, you know, it, it spins out in the market. Till that, ciao from Neeraj from Moscow and love you all. See you.